Welcome to the Sam Livecast. Today we're making what I will call old school uh, green beans and uh, ground pork. Nice. Let's do it. It's just a recollection of what we used to get in Chinese food in Vancouver. So look, the green beans. Uh, the little tops and tails taken off, most of them. So I'm just going to cut these guys. This is about five ounces. I'm going to just cut these guys in, in half. So they're, and I'm just making a little bit. Obviously, this is not for a ton of people. Oh, my wok is really hot. Oof. Ooh. So the beans will go in. <laughs> Here. Now a little oil. We gotta figure out our blueprints with meat starting over there. Right. So this is gonna take maybe three or four minutes. Uh, I need my garlic press. Because I'm gonna put some garlic in. One good clove of garlic. Garlic. Garlic, green beans, and pork. We'll call this. I think. Once again, if you haven't heard me talk about the benefits of a carbon steel flat bottom wok, this is what you want. It's one of my favorite pans. Are you, I use it all the time. What are here? Oh, I thought I heard water running, somebody's sawing. But it, it takes the heat. It does all the right things. And you notice how it's almost non-stick. Look in here. It's like one of those infomercials. Look, the egg goes in but doesn't stick. So these that have been in, mmm, mmm, nothing yet, nothing. We're gonna keep them like that, meaning uh, crispy. So what was that? Three minutes? Two minutes? Not, even, yeah. Not very much. Pan goes back on the heat. I've got about uh, a pound of ground beef here that I don't want to use all of. I would like a, what would happen to my wooden spoons? I just have that little one. She pisses me off, man. I feel like I left them some, someplace. So a little bit more oil. And then we'll use, I guess, about, uh, about a third of this. So about five ounces of beans and about the same of shredded pork. And again, this is not going to take long. Just break it up. Almost there. This. You know what I would like to give this, Max? Back up quick. I don't know if I can do this. Uh, go either way. Hold on. You know what I have? I have Szechuan peppercorns. But no way to. No way to. Ah, oh, maybe. Hold on. This. Where's the lid? Here it is. Szechuan peppercorns that uh, I bought that I haven't used. I don't need a lot because they're pretty spicy. So that's about a teaspoon. Okay. Look, pink's gone. Almost. Let's throw the garlic in. Right there. A little bit more oil on that. If you didn't have Szechuan peppercorns, you could use uh, peppercorns. You could use the red chili flakes. Let's just see how this does. You could use black pepper. So just a little bit of this, because I know a lot will be very powerful. Yeah, that's perfect. Check these guys out. Wow. 
Oh yeah, I feel like those peppercorns dialed up the Chinese smell they did. and flavor. Absolutely. This is good 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 observation. Soy sauce! Shit. Maybe a tablespoon, teaspoon of soy. One, two teaspoons. Little color change, little richness. And we're done. Wow. How's that? Come on now. That was so fast, too. Mmm. Check. Crispy, little garlicky, freaking delicious. Soy sauce right at the end. Have a little piece of pork. Beautiful. It smells so good. I forgot salt. Yes, the soy has a little salt. It needed just a little pinch. Well, I'll put the recipe online. You'll be so happy. I need one more little bite. What am I doing? Have to use chopsticks. Have to, right? It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be good not to use chopsticks. There we go. Right here. In a crunch. Mm -hmm. Darn it, that's good. All right, make stuff like this. Thanks for hanging out. Fast live cast, but a really good one. See you next time.